It's like being in a 1920 service station and a prohibition bar. Ford's Grudge is as well known for their unique atmosphere as they are for their awesome burgers and craft beers. <laughs> and we are so excited to welcome them to The Blend as they prepare to open new locations right here in the Bay Area. Joining us today is Giannis Russell and Jen Pacey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our year anniversary show. Like we said, we, we wanted a big show today. You delivered <laughs> with the biggest Absolutely. burger you could possibly find. Absolutely. We wanted to say congratulations. Oh, thank I, I you. really think Carly was, I mean, I'm going to give her credit for this because she said, I didn't think we would have a burger bigger than our year anniversary cake <laughs> mission accomplished by you guys and you're literally putting us to yes. work thank you so much for the shirts but we got to touch on the history I mean this is fabulous how you built this restaurant around the history of Fort Myers where you got your start right absolutely the original Ford's garage opened in Fort Myers downtown and um, it was really started as a tribute and a celebration of the life of Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Motor Company. And um, ever since 2012, when that one opened, we've been opening locations in Southwest Florida, and uh, now we've got some up here in Tampa. Yeah, so people may know, I, I spent about six years doing the blend in uh, Fort Myers, Cape Coral area, and uh, people have fallen in love with Ford's Garage. So when I moved back home to Tampa to hear, <laughs> wait a minute, there's more. There's now one in Wesley Chapel, which is close. Where are the new locations? Where are you guys expecting to build from here? Well, we've got um, West Chase, okay. Countryside, Lakeland, and downtown St. Petersburg. <laughs> All right, so Jen, let's talk about the food, though. Of course, people love the atmosphere there. I mean, we were talking about the towels here, or like the egg, this is what you actually find at a shop, but the food, you gotta have good food, get people to come back. Uh, our food is obviously big portions, uh -huh. uh, quality ingredients. Um, we, we make sure that we have prime ingredients. Uh, we are a 90% scratch kitchen, so we make a lot of things in-house. Um, and we just wanna make sure that when you leave, you leave full. Mm -hmm. Uh, we offer three different types of beef. We have uh, our Angus, which is fresh, never frozen. We have bison and we have Kobe beef as well. And we hand patty them all in house. Now, so every people single people burger. Are actually ordering this burger though. I mean, is this a daily <laughs> thing? Like, who, who's uh, well, really ordering Well, actually, it? this morning is the start of week eight for Wesley Chapel, and so far they've had five. Okay, all right. So let's, let's people take the do hood actually up order. here. <laughs> can we can we lift the hood? We can, and show we can this lift badly? the hood. Uh, what this is? This is ten pounds of Angus beef. <laughs> Uh, one pound of American cheese, one whole head of lettuce, four tomatoes, four onions, lots of pickle planks, and a very huge hubcap bun. <laughs> This is Seriously, I mean, it's absolutely market. awesome. And what I love really about your restaurants, and again, actually, like after I got my marriage license in Fort Myers, we celebrated at your restaurant. So your first location, dear to my heart. That's awesome. And another thing that's dear to my heart is how much you execute the idea of Ford's Garage. I mean, look at what, what are the onion rings on here? These are on a, a funnel tower. And uh, this is like what you would use if you were putting oil in a, in a car. And we, everything about the restaurants really is designed to capture that feel of being in a garage. All right. And I was going to say, I'm, I'm trying. I don't know if you guys can tell this in television, but actually a very cruel joke was played on us. All of the food is at the front of the island, and I can't reach it. So I'm going to really upset our director, oh, but I got to run. She's doing it. She's doing I, told it. Him, I told him I couldn't get to anything here. OK, so we're serving. Here we go, guys. Let's dig in. We got to do a big cheers. All right. Oh, Ford's Garage year anniversary. What are the beers that you guys have? What's, what's specialty for there? Kind of the, the bar side. Um, well, we are we, we focus on craft beers. Okay. We have uh, we call it what the F-150. Uh, the F-150 menu is a blend of 150 different craft beers uh, of draft and also bottles. So F we have a left-handed milk stout, Lagunitas IPA, mm -hmm. and this is a crisp and blackberry pear. Okay, well again, so cheers, cheers to you guys. Cheers. Happy the ladies are drinking, and you. I think this is a good, because my point was gonna be, <laughs> as much as men would like Ford's Garage, the women are loving it just Absolutely. as much, right? There's something there for everybody, and, and for the kids. Kid friendly. Absolutely, kid the kids friendly. love seeing the, the horns go off on the cars, and there's a lot for them to look at and experience. Ford's is just a really cool place to eat. Anybody who's never been there I have a three-year-old son, and he can't get enough of cars or trucks or anything like that, so we uh, definitely Perfect need to place stop to in. Again, okay. thank you so much. No Congratulations. Problem. Thank you for having us. Thanks for Cheers. putting us to work. I know, Cheers. right? Cheers, guys, Does again. Mean we have to come in and serve now, too? Absolutely. <laughs> You'll take <laughs> it. Anytime you want. I used to serve. All right, up next.